Organic brain disorders are characterized by five behavioral impairments. These are impairments of orientation, memory, intellect, judgment, and effect. The presence and severity of these impairments provide the foundation for the diagnosis and treatment of organic brain disorders. They can be further described by labeling the individual's condition as a state of either delirium or dementia. Delirium is usually caused by factors arising outside the brain. These factors include accident, heart failure, intoxication of drugs or alcohol, high fever due to acute illness, or accompanying the final stages of a terminal illness. It is often associated with sweating, rapid heartbeat, and muscular tremor. It lasts in most cases for a few hours, or at most, a few days. Then, like a bad dream, it vanishes without a trace. On occasion the individual continues in a diminished capacity after the acute stage has passed. Sometimes he displays minimal loss of consciousness, but he can become incoherent and comatose. Here are the five impairments to look for in delirium. Number 1. Impairment of orientation. The individual is disoriented to place and time. Often he cannot tell where he is, or the day, or time. He is lost to the world around him. Number 2. Impairment of memory. The individual displays a temporary loss of memory. He cannot comprehend what has happened and why he is where he is. Nor can he respond to questions about past experiences. In fact, most people don't remember events that occurred during the delirium when they are revived. Number 3. Impairment of intellect. The individual's thoughts focuses on imaginary experiences. His perceptions are altered by hallucinations and daydreaming. It is difficult to differentiate between internal mentality and external reality. Number 4. Impairment of judgment. The power of comprehension, and functions such as problem-solving and decision-making, are impaired. The individual is confused, although he is not aware of it. He loses the ability to reason constructively. Number 5. Impairment of effect. The individual's mood often swings between apathy and indifference, panic and rage, and sadness and joy. There is ambivalence of effect, or the existence of mutually exclusive emotions. Also there is lability, which is repeated emotional changes, or shallowness of effect. In contrast to delirium, dementia is caused by factors arising inside the brain. It develop from structural damage to the brain itself. These damages are often irreversible, but sometimes the condition which caused the syndrome can be reversed. Conditions which are irreversible are called chronic, but reversible conditions are described as acute. General causes of dementia include aging and other degenerative brain diseases. Unlike delirium, dementia affects areas of the brain that controls higher mental processes. The impairments are the same as in delirium, but in dementia they are more severe. Here are the five behavioral cues of dementia. Number 1. Impairment of orientation. The brain damage affect the individual with dementia. He is unable to find his way around familiar places. He is disoriented to place and time. He cannot tell the day of the week or time of day. Number 2. Impairment of memory. With dementia recent memory is worse than remote memory. He remembers history of long ago, but totally forgets recent events. It is difficult to pay attention and the thoughts fade away in the middle of a talk. He cannot recognize people he once knew very well. Number 3. Impairment of intellect. Dementia ultimately leads to impairment of intellect. There is a reduction of the individual's ability to learn new skills, and to think in abstract terms. Other intellectual skills, like the ability to reason, self-control, and social awareness, are diminished. Language deficit often accompany the individual's intellectual impairment. 
Although mild language problems often accompany organic brain disorders, severe language deficit, such as aphasia, can be a sign that there is specific areas of damage to the brain. There may also be impairment of hearing and understanding. Number 4. Impairment of judgment. As the individual's capacity in intellect diminishes, his judgment crumbles. He loses the ability to think about himself, to be sensitive to social order, and to formulate new ideas. Number 5. Impairment of effect. The profound changes associated with dementia bring large personality alterations. Initially the individual separates from the mature adult part of his personality. Gradually his repertoire of good manners, self-control, along with the habits he learned earlier in life, deteriorate. At last he becomes preoccupied with himself, and surrenders all interest in others and the world around him. Sadly his behavior regresses to childhood. At the beginning these personality changes may be ignored, as they resemble normal neurotic alterations. However, with time the individual begins to show significant rapid fluctuations in emotions. As the individual grows older his mood becomes apathetic. Towards the end of his life, the demented individual may develop any of the personality disorders. Evidence suggests that delirium may hasten cognitive deterioration in people with pre-existing dementia. The acute onset and fluctuation of symptoms in delirium usually assists in differentiation, and the input from family or significant others is also important to separate a delirium from an underlying dementia.